Break the camera. I've broken a few in my time. So, you guys shot this a few years back, yeah? We did, yeah. Uh, so, how is it to now celebrate something that you worked on so long ago? It's wonderful, mate. It's um, surprisingly quick for a movie. You know, a lot of movies take you know a few years plus to come out. So, I'm slowly getting used to this this uh, turnaround, but. It's exciting. It's a movie that was very ambitious. It was an independent movie that was privately financed and uh, had a lot of passion and drive behind it. And I came on very late into the piece. These guys have been working on this for five years, you know, so they, they tried to get it up with multiple different actors and it constantly kept falling through. And so when I signed on, there was this reinvigorated energy behind the movie and um, it, it never stopped. It, you know, it felt like it was a train that was kind of going right to the end. So it feels good to finally be here and see it. I have to say, I love Titans. I thought you were fantastic in it. Right. Uh, and then, so have you met Ian yet? I have. You have? I have. Have you guys started season two yet? Or we have started, yeah. We've started shooting. We've had a scene together. He's a wonderful actor. You know, obviously, we, a lot of the fans know him from Game of Thrones. But, um, you know, he's an actor that carries that gravitas, you know, that a lot of those uh, classic, theatrically trained film actors, he kind of, um, he, he carries the experience in his mannerisms, his voice, um, he's a lovely guy to work with and we're all just super excited to have someone like him on the show. <laughs> How's his Bruce Wayne accent? It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what a Bruce Wayne accent no, should like, sound like. It sounds kind of like a metropolitan. Kind of like Christian Bale. Kind of like Christian Bale. A little different. Not gruff. <laughs> it's good. It's it's classy and gruff. Classy gruff. Gruff classy. Is that an accent? I think it is. And then, so do you have a new uh, Nightwing costume yet? Or I don't know if I have a new one. Um, I think we... I, I, yes, I, yes. Uh, I have a new one. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm... I'm anticipating the day that I get to try that on and, uh, and see how it looks, see how it fits, see if I can move in it. Probably can. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try that on. And then, oh. yeah, I I, I want to gush about Titans, but this is for a different project. You can talk about Titans. It'll helps. It'll helps. You know. So, like, what was your favorite episode last season? I really like Carol Banker's episode, um, which I think. It was episode six. Yeah. Uh, it was called Jason Todd. It was an episode about Dick Grayson and Jason Todd basically meeting each other for the first time. Dick Grayson learning that Batman had hired another Robin, um, and kind of, you know, about him processing that and dealing with it. A little bit of the past brought up um, some old bad memories, kind of coming back into his life um, but I mean it was my favorite because I loved working with Karen Walters you know he's a great young actor he's got a great attitude and, you know brings it every day and uh, I, I could really see what I felt on set you know I could feel the chemistry between Jason and it's one of the episodes where I could see it as well so it was good yeah. how did you feel when you got the script for episode 11 and you found out that you were going to kill Batman I thought I hope this is like a 45 page fight scene. This is going to be fun. Um, you know, because it was an, because it was an alternate world, um, I was wondering how that's how that was going to be perceived. If people would think visually that that's real, you know, or they would understand that it's 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 part of a, a sequence that is controlled by someone else, you know, it's all in his head. Um, which we'll see more of that as season two comes out, it, it explains kind of, um, you know, a little bit more of what happened and uh, with that storyline. So it's kind of, it, it ended quite abruptly and um, it was, it was hard to kind of finish a season like that. Um, the first few episodes of season two help explain and, uh, and finish off a lot of those storylines. And then have you watched any of Doom Patrol? 
No, I haven't. I, sh I should check it out. Yeah, I've heard it's really good. But yeah, I have to say I just love everything that's been going on with the DC Universe stuff. I thought, like, I'd never really known why Dick Grayson wanted to get out of Batman Shadow, but your acting for it, like, really helped. So I think we were great. You know what, one of my favorite episodes was number five, because it, it showed the Doom Patrol guys yeah. in such a cool way, you know, it was like the soundtrack, the visuals, the, the colors, like, it was very vibrant and fun, and that's kind of my jam. Yeah. Yeah. And is there going to be like a, a Swamp Thing crossover episode this season, do you know? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That would be cool, but I'm not sure.